Hello everyone, welcome to BISP Trainings. My name is Faiza Alam and today I am uh, going to tell you about the concept of bin management uh, which is a, uh, one of the important features of inventory management. So let's get started. So first we should know what are bins. So bins are the places for storing items within the warehouse. It helps in tracking on-hand quantities. In a layman term, I would say that bins are the physical units uh, for storing items within the warehouse. Like, you know, tra uh, tracking bins uh, helps the uh, warehouse employees to know exactly where to go to find items they need for picking and uh, fulfilling the orders. If we talk about the NetSuite bin management, so this system facilitates the best inventory management in a warehouse by facilitating uh, the real-time visibility to the records. Along with that, bins also specify exactly where uh, items need to be put away in stock when we receive the items. This bin management feature is very helpful, especially if the inventories are stored in more than one location. So here we have the features and some steps of bin management. So the features of uh, bin management has been divided into two categories, basic bin management and advanced bin numbered and inventory management. So if I talk about the <clears throat> basic bin management, so here we can create bin records to identify the specific uh, places and associate the item with each bins on the item record. But uh, the uh, main uh, point over here is uh, we cannot use the lot numbered and serial numbered items under the basic bin management. The next feature of uh, uh, bin management is advanced bin or numbered inventory management. So this feature uh, includes using the serial number and lot numbered items on a per location basis. Means here uh, we have the facility of using the serial number and lot numbered along with um, on the item records. And along with that it also lets us use any bins for any item. So these are the two features that are used in the bin management. There are certain steps that are to be followed under the bin management. Like first we have to enable the uh, bin management features. Then we have to set certain preferences, uh, certain bin uh, preferences. And then uh, we have to create a bin record. Like if we do not have uh, the bin records, where would we saving the uh, records so for the the next step that we have is uh, we have to create a bin record then after creating the record for the bins we have to you know uh, set up item records for bin or uh, i would say that we can associate items with the bins so these are the uh, basic steps that are followed under the bin management moving on to the netsuite application uh, before starting the bin management, the first step is to enable the feature. So for that, we have to go into setup, company, enable feature, features. So here under the items in inventory, we have these options. You can see that if the bin management box is checked, so we can use the uh, this feature. It is already checked. And if it is not checked, we can check it and save it. Uh, as we have seen, the feature is already enabled. Now we will uh, set uh, the accounting uh, and see whether the accounting preferences for bin management is set or not. So for that, we go, we'll go over to accounting, accounting preferences. So here under the inventory sub tab, we have this option use preferred bin on item receipts. So this feature is already enabled already. So we have checked the enable features and accounting preferences. Now the next step is uh, we have to uh, create a bin record and for creating bin record, we have to go into list supply chain bins. So you can see here, this, these are the bins that have been created and they are, you know, uh, for certain locations, these are the locations. And this is our internal ID is given over here. And now I'm going to uh, create a new bin. So here we have to mention the bin number.
after providing the bin number we have to select the location like for which location do we want to uh, select this bin for so here i am taking this canadian corporate office if we want to provide any memo so we can provide it now i will be clicking on save so now if i see the, uh, the bins that i have created so here it is its internal id is 14 this is the bin that i have created for canadian corporate office so we have created a bin record now i will be associating uh, the bins or the bins number to any item record so in order to create that we have to uh, get into list accounting items so this is the item page like uh, i want to associate bins to this processor 005 that i have created i will i have clicked on edit So this uh, processor 005 is for subsidiary Mexico. So how can we associate bins to any item record under the inventory management sub tab we have this option use bins so I will check this box. So now uh, this item will be using bins as I have checked it. If we go down here. If we want to provide any preferred location so we can provide it uh, under the bin number sub tab. We have to select the location first. Like I am taking here this Canadian corporate office. And you can see as uh, you know I have created a bin record for this location. So it is visible under the bin numbers. I will be selecting it. I want to make it preferred for per location. I will click on it along with that uh, you know as I have uh, added only one bin uh, similarly we can uh, select the multiple locations and multiple numbers uh, sorry multiple bin numbers over here like here I have selected a Canadian corporate office if I want to select some more like if I want to select this Mexican office and uh, these are the bins that are associated with this Mexican office so here I am taking this bin 6009 I will click on add. Now I will be saving this record as I have associated uh, the bins to this record. If we go down here, you can see that now that this item is using bins. If we go here into the bin numbers, so these are the locations and these are the bin numbers for this item. Under the Mexican office, the quantity that is available on hand is 495. So this is how we can uh, manage the bins. First we have create a, created a bin record then we have associated it with an item. So another important concern under the bin management is bin transfer. So bin transfers can be used to move items between bins within a warehouse means uh, it can be for a single location but uh, we are required for two bins and such transfers can move items only if they are already in one or more bins. Let's uh, take an example over here like at, at any location we have an item in two bins that is bin A and bin B. So under bin A we have 100 units and under bin B we, ha we also have 100 units. So if we want to you know uh, transfer it so we can enter the bin transfer uh, by transferring the units from bin A to bin B. You know we can make we can enter the bin transfer by 50 units. So the available quantity with bin uh, B would be 150 units and for bin A uh, it will be for uh, 50 units. So in this manner uh, it can be for a, sim a similar location but uh, we can uh, make the transfer of items uh, between two bins. So this is about the bin feature uh, bin transfer. So and one more thing to note over here is uh, that uh, the bin transfer does not have any financial impact. It only you know uh, updates the quantity on hand in each bin for the items that are transferred. It does not have any financial impact on the books. This is about the bin uh, transfer. So in order to see how the bin transfer takes place in our uh, NetSuite application we have to go into transactions inventory and here we have this option bin transfer list. 
so these are the transfers that have been made uh, a few information is given like for date currency foreign currency if i want to you know enter a new bank transfer i will click on new transaction so this is the bin transfer page we have to uh, mention the date it can be today's date or it can be a back date also so i am taking here this 22nd june now i will be selecting location here i am taking this canadian warehouse so you can see that the subsidiary that is associated with this location is already populated uh, this generate document number on save like when i uh, had, i was i will be done with this transfer so the document number will already get generated if we want to provide any memo so we can provide it the important thing uh, the item that is to be selected for transferring into bin so here i am taking this hard drive c gate you can see that this is the preferred bin for this item uh we have to mention the quantity that we want to transfer from one bin to another for the location 11 canadian warehouse so here i am taking this free quantity after providing quantity we have to uh, configure the inventory detail so you can see that now from this bins to this bins we can uh, we are transferring so i will be select, uh, changing the two bins that is canadian from canadian warehouse to to bin canada warehouse these are the two different bins for this location you can see the status is already uh, here the available quantity that is for this item is 488 i have to transfer only 3 units so i am uh, providing the quantity here now i will click on add and click okay now you can see the inventory detail has been configured so i have uh, you know uh, make the transfer of only one item if we want to add some more items so we can add multiple items over here with the help of this add option now i will be saving it so here we can see that our uh, transfer has been successfully made i have made the transfer of three quantities from canadian uh, canadian warehouse to to uh bin canadian uh, warehouse so in this manner we can uh, have we can uh, make the transfer uh, of items or units between two bins it can be a uh, of a similar location and it can be for different location but we can transfer the quantities between bin so in this session we have seen how the bin management feature actually works uh, we have a uh, created a bin record then we have associated uh, the bins to certain items uh, after that we have seen how can we uh, make the transfer of uh, different um, how can we make the transfer of items between bins so in this manner we can uh, manage our uh, bins so that's all about the topic in case of any questions and consultations you can write to us at www.bispsolutions.com thank you